All right, so the Extreme Z Awakening details for the uh, LRGT trio have been released, and uh, my feelings on them right now are a little bit mixed, to be honest. So, yeah, let's talk about it. Uh, popping over to the Dokkan Wiki here, we will start with the pre-Extreme Z Awakening details for comparison purposes. So their current leader skill without the EZA is Dragon Ball Seekers Category Q plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, or Super Int Types Q plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. 12 key Super Attack causes colossal damage and raises defense by 33% for one turn, and the 18 key Super causes mega colossal damage and raises defense by 33% for three turns. And then passive is attack and defense plus 77% when performing a super attack plus an additional attack plus 77% if it is an ultra super attack. And then key plus one per Dragon Ball Seekers category ally on the team. So that is without the easy A. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, their new leader skill is Dragon Ball Seekers category key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 100 and 77%, so a 7% boost from before, which is um, understandable, I guess, even though I would have preferred something higher, like 180%, maybe even, I guess 200% would have been too crazy, but um, 177, I guess makes sense. So yeah, 177% or super int types, key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 120%. And then 12 key super raises defense by 33% for one turn, it causes loss of damage, and uh, seals the enemy's super attack. So essentially, um, it's not that different. The main change is that they do add the sealing of the enemy super attack, which can make a big difference for certain events where you can seal the enemy super attack, like Super Battle Road, for example. But um, there are a lot of events in this game now that you know, are not, um, where you're not able to seal or stun the enemy, right? So it really depends on which event you're doing, but uh, that's a nice addition for sure. And then the uh, 18 key super raises defense by 33% for three turns, causes mega cost of damage and lowers attack and defense. And this is also useful once again for events where you can debuff the enemy, but there are a lot of events where uh, that's not an option, right? So as far as the defense part goes, that stays the same from, uh, you know, before the Extreme Z Awakening. And finally, we have the passive, which is defense plus 77%, which of course is very nice because these guys definitely needed the defense. And then attack and defense plus 77% when performing a super attack plus an additional attack plus 77% if it is an ultra super attack. So the defense plus 77% is new. This part is the same as before. And then key plus one plus an additional attack plus 7% per Dragon Ball Seekers or GT Heroes category ally on the team. Plus an additional key plus three and high chance of performing a critical hit when all allies in the same turn are Dragon Ball Seekers or GT Heroes characters. So there you go, that is the Extreme Z Awakening for the LR GT Trio. And like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm a little bit mixed on how I feel about this uh, EZA because on the one hand, it does address um, the main issues with this unit before the EZA, which are number one, they needed more key, which we are getting now with, uh, you know, this key plus three. Um, and I mean, I guess they had this before already, so that's not a huge difference. But they, you know, sometimes had some issues with getting the 18 key super, right? So this key plus three, I think, will actually make a pretty big difference as far as that's concerned. Um, and then they also, of course, needed a lot more defense, right? Because while they were very impressive offensively, their defense was pretty lacking, right? They were pretty lacking on the uh, defensive end, and um, the key, or sorry, the uh, defense plus 77% uh, at the very start is definitely a nice touch, but aside from that, we don't really get any more defense, right? Because the super attacks stay the same. It's not like they increased it to like three turns and six turns or something like that, or made it like 
you know, 50% defense for one turn and 50% for three turns or something like that, right? Um, the only real difference on the defensive end is the additional 77% defense. And don't get me wrong, that's good. That's good. But they're still not going to be a slot one unit because that's not enough, right, to put them in slot one. And um, after they super, uh, they'll have some good defense, but it's nothing crazy, you know, in my opinion. So it just kind of feels like they didn't do enough with this Extreme Z Awakening, to me right now, at least on paper, um, just like my first impressions, right? Because I only saw this like 30 minutes ago, so I haven't had too much time to process it, but just my initial impression, my initial opinions um, are that it's, you know, a decent Extreme Z Awakening, but it's just not enough. You know, it's not enough extra defense. Um, it's not enough. Well, I mean, the key is probably okay, but... Um, yeah, it seems like they kind of went more in the offensive direction, right? Like the extra attack for uh, Dragon Ball Seekers and GT Heroes, and also the high chance to crit when you have all allies uh, in the Dragon Ball Seekers or G GT Heroes category um, is going to be a big difference. Like these guys are going to hit really hard. That's something I didn't address before, right? These guys are going to hit really, really hard. Like you're going to see some crazy attack stats. Um, you know, on like a full Dragon Ball Seekers team or like a combination of Dragon Ball Seekers and GT Heroes, right? Like these guys are going to get a lot of attack. Uh, we're going to see some insane attack stats out there, probably rivaling like the LR Goku and Frieza or something like that, right? Like I don't know the exact calculations. I haven't seen any numbers, but um, the point is like I can see right now they're going to hit really hard, which is awesome, but defensively, they needed more work, I think, and um, it doesn't feel like it's enough. That's just how I feel about it right now, so that's why I'm a little bit mixed. Like, on the one hand, I'm excited for these massive attack stats that we're about to get. On the other hand, I still think they're going to be lacking on the defensive end. I still think that they're a unit that you have to be very careful with on harder events, and... Uh, you know, since this is an Extreme Z Awakening and we're unlikely to get another upgrade anytime soon, unless they like re-Extreme Z Awakened units at some point, which uh, is possible because some of the original EZAs are very outdated now, right? So maybe at some point in the future, when they finish Extreme Z Awakening all the units, we will get re-Extreme Z Awakenings or uh, EZA2s or whatever, right? But yeah, for now, if this is what the Extreme Z Awakening is, um, I don't think it's gonna have a ton of staying power, honestly. I don't think it's gonna be like, or it's gonna make them like relevant for too long. That's how I feel right now. I could be wrong. Maybe, uh, you know, once the data download comes out, once we get some showcases out there, um, I will feel differently about this, or maybe just once I've thought about it more, I'll feel differently. But right now, yeah, it just kind of feels like it's a half measure, if you will, and uh, they could have given them more defense, um, but yeah, that's uh, that's Extreme Z Awakening, and don't get me wrong, I'm not like super disappointed, you know, I, I just I just had, uh, um, you know, slightly higher hopes, I guess, I had slightly higher hopes for the CZA, it's still decent, it's still decent, but compared to like the LR Rose and Zamasu Extreme Z Awakening, um, this is a far cry from that. Right, Rose and Zamasu, I think, are way, way higher as far as the upgrade goes. So, that's it, guys. That's uh, the Extreme Z Awakening for the LRGT Trio. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. Are you, you know, higher on them than me? Are you about the same? Or is your opinion even lower than uh, what I expressed in this video? I'm just kind of in the middle right now. I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. Not super high, not super low. Just kind of okay on them. I don't think it's terrible, I don't think it's great, they're just uh, a decent EZA, I will say, a decent EZA. So, that's it guys, that is today's video, thank you so much for watching, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, get that notification bell so that YouTube knows that you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day, I'm Tiger with Tiger, Uppercut Media, signing out.